Hair Care USA. So I am in the lab. Woo. I am in the lab today working on bulk batch of our turmeric collection, which is our Jamaican turmeric collection. Um, I already made the body oil, which is the after shower oil. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make the bulk batch of the scrub. This part of the process can be, um, yeah. Hey James, uh -oh. how are you? Good. Oh, I'm doing good. I'm actually doing a YouTube live. So I can I call you back in 30 minutes? Okay. Okay. I'll give you a call. So I am in the lab, as I was trying to say before. Um, what you guys see me wearing, this is called a respirator. You guys, if you have like husbands or sons or anyone that works in a place that has any type of fumes or airborne um, materials or powders, they wear this, which is called a respirator. As crazy as it seems, I'm making body care products, right? But one of the ingredients in specific when it goes airborne, because the powder is so fine in texture, and it is a powder that it doesn't even take a wind to blow, it will literally get up into your nose, and I don't do sugar booger, so that does not work for me. Um, when I did the smaller batch the other day, by me even standing back and putting it in, it still managed to get into my nose. And because it's not made to be inhaled, it is made to rub on the skin. It is not something that you want to continue inhaling if you're gonna be working with it long-term. So I already knew that I needed a respirator. I already knew that I was working with this product and I already knew that I could potentially inhale the powder um, before it becomes a liquid form. So that's the reason why we went ahead and ordered a respirator, specifically for this one product, which Nothing bad for you or anything of that nature, but um, spray paint is not made to be inhaled. It's made to spray on a car. Does that mean by you touching the spray paint is gonna make you sick? No, it just means that you shouldn't inhale it. It can kill you. So it's the same thing when you're working with these body care products. And you guys know I'm really transparent. So I said I would bring you along for the bulk version of the journey of us making a bulk batch of our foaming scrubs. So let's go. So you guys probably can't hear me, but you can see me. So you'll see me working over here. So right now I can't smell anything.
still not big enough. Have to use this one.
So what you guys see me doing is I'm adding, I'm adding the surfactant in my water phase so that I can melt it down. But this stuff is too airborne for you to breathe it in. So it's not for you to breathe into your nose. So if you guys notice, it's getting foamy.
Mm -hmm. You gotta come press mute. Yeah. Come on, you gotta do it. I can't do oh, it. I'm gonna set up a hole here, like... Hold on, you guys. That thing is hot. Be careful. Where's the mute button? That right there. Yep. Mute. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you bring me up that um that pink jug with water in it? You need a lot of water? Yeah. Alright. Should I have her send it to my email? Send it to the office email so she knows she's sending it to Elite Hair Care. Okay, so what you guys saw me doing was trying to figure out the way that we can double boil this because of the size um, of the batch that we're making. This is also a part of formulation, you guys. So I had to, number one, figure out how I was going to be able to double boil this particular part of the product and still do the oil phase because I still have to do the oil phase of this as well and double boil it. So what we did today, if you guys were on live this morning, you guys know or would know. Hold on, let me move this away so you can see. I'm trying to make space so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So we'll okay, I'm going to move you guys back here a little bit. So this morning, I told you guys that I had a problem that I needed to solve. Um, and I didn't really tell you what the problem was. I just said that I had a problem that I needed to solve. Well, that problem was I needed to figure out how I was able to double boil a very large batch of product 
not having one of those billion dollar double boil systems that a lot of larger manufacturers would have. Unfortunately, I don't have that and I cannot wait until I get um, $10,000 to go and get this humongous double boiling system. So what I had to do was go to the restaurant depot to get pans that would be able, did this turn off? To get pans that would be able to sustain for me to be able to do a double boil. So I had to come up with a whole concoction to figure this out. So what I did was I got a double burner that we had already ordered. I also got some stainless steel food quality or food grade pans because they are made for high heat so that I could mix these batches and double boil them because this is a two phase process. Now, I figured that part out, but I did not know or remember that this, these two big pans cannot fit in this long pan that I have here. This bug, well, this, this one that you guys see here and this one can fit together in this double boiling thing that we have going on here. So now, did this thing go out? I'm telling me this thing went on already. Hold on. Okay, I don't think it went out, but I can already tell that this is not gonna be the one that I'm gonna be using for long. It's fine though, we're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna put both of these in this water, which this is hot water, okay? So both of these are gonna go into this hot water bath here, and then they have to basically melt down so that I can go on to the next part of the process. So this is just the small part of the process, okay? I don't know if this thing just died on me or what. Why well, I think this thing just died already. Okay, it didn't die. I think it just doesn't like me, but it's fine. So we're now putting both of these inside this water here, okay? So these have to now double boil. So it's just like if you were tempering chocolate. So I already had allowed the water to kind of warm up. So I'm just gonna add more water so that it will continue this process. Okay. So we have enough water in there so that it will start the double boiling process. And then I'm just gonna clean up at the same time because now I have to do my oil phase. But I gotta go wash these out first to even do that. So that is all a part of formulation, you guys. If you get into formulation, these are the things that you're gonna be dealing with. You'll have a ton of questions. You'll have a ton of, okay, let me try this, a ton of let me try that. I just went to the restaurant depot. Okay, you guys hearing me? I just went to the restaurant depot here in Orlando and spent about $500 on utensils, not even product, utensils that we need to be able to do our job here. That's what I did. And the good thing is these are utensils that are reusable, of course. We're gonna be reusing them and using them and using them so they pay for themselves. But this is all a part of this process. Like, it's not a, it's not a simple, oh yeah man, just go and mix up a thing and everything I go and go down, you know, ray, 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 and just make it work, you know? No, baby, that's not how it go. You are always trying to figure out and you're always trying to be innovative to figure out how you're gonna be able to do this and do that and do this and do that. This is not gonna fall? No, it should not fall, but I wanna make sure. Okay, all right, we're good. It's hot, so we got that going. So now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start another water bath and let this start to heat up because I know 
that I'm going to be doing this double boil again with my oil phase. So I have another burner. These burners are um, portable or movable, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're good to have. They're good to, to have when you don't have an entire stove. Like we can get a gas stove or a gas range, but who's going to do that? That's, that's even more money. So we're not going to do that. So you just have to use like induction burners, which is most of the time the most cost effective way of doing things is to use an induction burner. Now, because I'm double boiling those in such a large batch and I don't have any foil paper, I'm going to use my tops from my hoppers to cover my two, um, my, my, that's my surfactant or water phase. I'm gonna use those to cover that up, but I gotta actually find them. Tell me where they are, because I'm, I'm not seeing them. And we have a bunch of tops. So the fact that I'm not even seeing the tops and I don't want to yell cat in somebody's ear. Y'all hold on. Have you seen the tops for the hoppers, the silver tops? Like the big one. That's one, but where's, where's the, remember the really big one to go with the really oh, big one? The really, really big Yeah, I needed to put on this so that nothing blows in there. I see the big hopper, which is, goes for this, but I don't see the big top. Unless it's under it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Did she, um, you told she's her what to do? Up, yeah, she's going to forward it to, uh, send it over and everything. So I wrote her, her email down and her name. So she's going to send it over to help. She said she has that email because Grand Town provided it to her at a time okay. when we were shipping the body care order. I guess we did that so Okay. All right, I got it. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse these or wash them so that we can use those for the next part of the process. The good thing is that powder that you guys saw me using, that's surfactant. So surfactant is what makes the product sud. This is another reason why we wanna use glass beakers and stainless steel, which I don't even have to add. So if you guys notice, I don't have to add a lot of soap because that's soap. That's exactly what that was. But it's in a powder form, so you have to lick it liquid so that you can then, I gotta turn that off, that's hot. So that you can then um, emulsify it or whip it to make a foam. So I'm just rinsing or washing these. The good thing is these are gonna be superior and clean. Why? Because I'm just rinsing soap anyway. There's no oil in this part. So this is also. So that's another reason for the double boil because that needs to get um it needs to be hot enough that everything will melt down and it takes time it really does especially in large batches
So I got all of these from the restaurant store. And stainless steel washes easily. So that was another reason why it was a, definitely a good investment to get these items in this way. Because if not, we're gonna spend a lot of time doing dishes. like I'm at home. I'm actually going to fill this with water because I'm going to use this as my double boiler system for my oil phase. So we're going to fill this up with water and then I'm going to use my other stainless steel pan. This is going to serve as the pot stainless steel and it is going to be the water phase for my oils. Alright, so I'm going to put this over here first and then I'll come back for you guys in just a All right, so let's go ahead and make our way back to our workspace over here. Um, do I need any water? I'm gonna bring this because I definitely need this. Um, my two bowls, those can dry. My glass beaker, that can dry. Uh, I think I need my scoop. So we're gonna bring these over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna set you guys right here so you can kind of see what's going on. So I went ahead and I rinsed out my rag, which easily rinsed out because it was soap. <laughs> and it still has soap in it. That's crazy. That was soap, you guys. All right, so that's going. I'm gonna make sure that my area is nice and clean and ready for my oil phase. I'm 
gonna hang this here. Let me get rid of any garbage that I have. Don't need any more garbage. Okay, we got our bowls here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do our oil phase which I have my shea butter, whew, shea butter, not shea butter, mango butter, emulsifying wax, and blueberry oil. So let's, I think I have enough emulsifying wax. Oh no. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. No, I do not. <laughs> Oh no, where am I gonna get emulsifying wax? I need some now. Frick. I gotta find some emulsifying wax, people. I don't have enough. Please be something local that I can get right now. Please. Joanne, do you know how far that is? I wonder if Hobby Lobby has emulsifying wax. They should, they make candles. It's a beeswax, paraffin wax. Leave it to me, boy. Yep, they sell a bunch of beeswax, a bunch of palm oil. And I need 36 ounces of emulsifying wax. I need, oh Lord. It never fails, you guys. Let me look at my shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, what I'm, I don't have enough of. Uh-oh. Nope, emulsifying wax. And I'm on Joanne's website and I don't see how you search anything on here. They just keep giving me the stupid address. Yeah, Joanne's. Joanne's fabrics can sell it. Oh. If, like for candle making. Yeah. You, use emulsi you can use emulsifying wax for candles. I don't like con con um, websites that just drive me crazy. Just let me type what I need. Emol. Please have it at whatever cost at this point. No. Nope. Got a ton of beeswax and a short of beeswax. These, these are the things that happen, you guys. Thank you guys. Yes, I stay busy. Now I'm just like super freaking aggravated because I need to find a place that sells emulsifying wax right now. I can go to Georgia. <laughs> I can also go to South Carolina and get it. Yeah. Let me call this apothecary store. Apparently they, ha they might have it. Watch it be a billion dollars because this still looks small. I 
I doubt it. The part of me says I doubt it. I don't know. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling the Mockingbird Apothecary. How may I help you? Hi. Do you guys carry emulsifying wax? I don't have it for sale. Uh, okay. Thank you. What were you looking for exactly? Um, emulsifying wax. Yeah, we're a, a cosmetics and hair care manufacturer, and we need it like today. <laughs> yeah, because I just ran out. <laughs> Yeah, um, hold on, let me, I'm gonna weigh this pack that I have. I need a total of 36 ounces, but I have some already. One second. So I have 14. I need 22 more ounces. 407. 242. 743. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. Oh, please, lady. Tell me what you have. Did we not have this discussion this morning? We just had this discussion this morning. But we're not even gonna mention it. Comma, don't stop my mix already. And I cannot not fix it. I cannot, I can't not do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. about it didn't we mm -hmm. literally you know I'm just gonna keep my head up stay positive girl stay positive stay super positive stay as positive as positive can be gonna work out can't stress nothing when you already in the process and you need what you need like now this comes with it this definitely comes with it It is going to work out. No, these are the things that people don't see. These are definitely the things that people don't see. People really don't see a lot of this part.
Y'all see me just standing here, right? Because if I don't just stand here, I'm going to get real pissed off. So let me just stand here for a second. so much of this stuff. It's like, you don't even have a choice. Stand and let peace be still. I'm, I'm standing. I'm just, I'm human. That's all. I'm human, you guys. Like, this is the, this is the stuff, right? This is the stuff. This is the stuff right here. I'm just going to wait on this young lady to call me back. Pray that she is going to be able to assist me with these 22 ounces that I need. Oh, you almost <laughs> cussed again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I almost just let out another curse word. I almost just really went there. Oh, I needed some citric acid anyway because I needed that to turn down the um, my little thing there. Go ahead and add that to the bundle. Sorry, you guys. I'm not looking at the camera because I'm trying to like make sure that I have everything that I need. Mm -mm. I need like 20 pounds of this stuff. Just the noodles. I don't need the noodles. Okie doke. Got no choice. Patience, grasshopper. <laughs> Grasshopper's like, patience, young grasshopper, patience. Okay, I got patience, I'm trying. That's why I'm like, let me see what else I need so I can just order it all at once so that I do not have to sit here and worry about doing this again.
Oh, no, I won't be getting that from you. Absolutely not. Somebody tell me what's four times 16. Anybody, four times 16. I can't think right now. My head is in a, in a buster. Sixty-four. Thank you. Okay, that's good. I have enough for that. here you guys I'm looking for something see when you're trying to do stuff in bulk when you guys are doing your stuff in bulk, this is what comes with it right here. And when you try like when you buy stuff like this like when you buy little things like this you guys you can't you can't batch out that way that's why you have to buy it in bulk but you're going to end up spending a billion dollars where it's not even needed i promise you'll end up spending money that's not even necessary let's see if they sell this on there
pounds. That's only two pounds, but you're making body butter. So you're gonna need more of that too. So you need more of that too. Just trying to make sure I have everything that I need. I'm gonna order it all from one place. Because if I don't, then you're gonna end up spending way more than you should. Just off and off and off. What's the difference? It's the same thing. Enough preservative, definitely. Enough polysorbate, enough colloidal oak, stearic acid I just got. BTMS 50. Do I use the word? Oh, yes, you do. BTMS 50. Yellow. BTMS MB. Mass balance. Oh, that's 25. We need BTMS 50. Dang it. Why is that thing so expensive? Gosh! Some of this stuff is super duper expensive. Like, why? And then these people like literally ship in like out like it takes a long time for some of these people to ship your stuff so you have to be mindful who you're ordering some of these things from because you might not get it today on ma'am please call me back so I can get this stuff please so I need the stuff now what's is there oh it's like the same it's like $20 more this stuff is expensive Cost money. I know I need mango butter. Mango butter, really? All them pieces, all them thing, Expense. Expense. How big is this box? I didn't even get this mango butter from the. This is a 10 pound box. 10 pound box of mango butter. Let's see what theirs is. Five pounds is that. Some of the things you'll be ordering in different places. get it by Friday Amazon sometimes does good bulk stuff too so you gotta kind of play around with it let's see if I can get a five pound bag of settle alcohol let's see if you can get it on Amazon for the low ski yeah get a three pound bag $43. How much was a set of alcohol over here for five pounds? Mm -mm. This is how I shop. 
Hey, Dad. Well, I can get a five pound back for $43. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna do that one on the dog inside. Try to call Stearic acid, the oil, oh, the extra. I got that. Right, I think that's everything I needed, excluding um, turmeric. I need more turmeric. All right, let's look at my cart. This is taking very long for her to call me back. I'm getting her back. Cocoa betaine. You have enough for that? Not really. And to use a lot of cocoa butane around here. We use a lot of glycerin. We use a ton of glycerin. Foaming apple, cocoa butane again. Yep. All right, I think I'm good now. I'm just waiting on homegirl to just, you know, let a girl know. Help a sister out. BTMS 50 set off. Extract, extract, SCI, emulsifying wax. Foaming apple. This has nothing else. So that little bit of stuff that I need is costing us $436. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Hey, something you just got to say, mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Safflower. All right, we're good. It works. Got no choice. I watched the shipping be my entire butt. This be my entire. Eight. Now watch the shipping. Who can guess what the shipping is going to be? Who can guess? Who can guess what the shipping is going to be? Anybody? Just guess a number. We're not going to look. We're just going to guess. That's so bad. No, it's only $35. <laughs> if I want it by tomorrow, it's $143. If I'd like it by Friday, it'll probably cost around $100.
we'll be fine. I'm just gonna have to work on, I'm not gonna be able to work on any of the batches the rest of this week. That's why I'm gonna have to finish this batch because I can't work on anything else. So it was $35. Gotta buy what you gotta buy. Like this thing always says my billing address doesn't match and I know my billing address. I, I'll be so aggravated, you guys. Some things just really get under my skin. I try to stay calm. I try to stay as calm as possible, you know? It's just never really, it's just not giving what it should have been giving. Like sometimes I just be like, hey. <laughs> that's what you hear me say most of the time. I just be straight. Everything else, we're okay. We got sugar. We got sugar. We got all of those things. We have all of that stuff. I don't, I'm trying not to be an asshole and, and, and call this lady back like right away. But I need the wax now. And I don't know if I can mix emulsifying wax and beeswax. Beeswax might be, no, beeswax is not an emulsifier. That is a hardener. So that won't even work. But what am I ordering on Amazon? Let's check. Oh yeah, the mango butter, the citric acid. I need both of those, absolutely. That's a must. I don't have a choice for those two. So once again, I have to just go forward with that. And I don't think I can get emulsifying wax overnight. And either way, if I get it overnight, my surfactant will have to have sat overnight and I cannot do that. I can get 16 more ounces overnight, but I need 22 ounces. did I use today? I used something and I use all of it and I'm like, whoa, I need more of that. Oh yeah. I need to. Because I can't get it till Friday. And because I've already started this batch at that number, I have no choice but to use what I need to use. Come on, honey, I'm waiting on your call. I'm just sitting here waiting on your call, my sister. Don't all run at once, honey. Still waiting on your call. <laughs> Don't all rush at once. Just still sitting here waiting on her to call me back. <laughs> Wait on you, lady, because she'll tell me 22 hours to come back. That's it. Huh? That's it. That's all I need. All I need is 22 hours to come close to my watch. I need nothing more. You can tell me a pound and a half. That's really all I need, a pound and a half. That's it, nothing more than that. I, there's not many other places, that's the problem. There actually isn't many other places to get the thing. I'm searching, I, got, I, I just basically called the numbers that I typed in emulsifying wax Orlando to see if I could get it near me and nowhere do I see it says, come and pick me up in the store. Hmm. 
<sighs> you see near me. And there's not really, this is not like an apothecary kind of place, you guys. So, and her number was the first one. I don't even think Joann's actually sells it because Joann's little exit sells, it sells every other wax, but I'm gonna call. Let's just give it a call. Maybe people there know what it is. Hi, Tyler. Do you guys sell emulsifying wax? Emulsifying wax? Let me ask. I'm not too sure. Okay. Thank you. In the meantime, let's check on our water fades here. Oh yeah, it's definitely good. Oh yeah. All right, are you still there? I'm here. Yes, that we do. You do? Do you know the cost? Uh, give me one moment. <laughs> I did not get okay, that. Right. can you check the cost and the size that you sell it in? So we're just gonna go ahead and start heading over. Cat. Yeah. Joanne said they have it. So I don't know how much they have, but I'm gonna go over there anyway. Do you want half Yeah, I'm gonna go. I, I asked them to check how much it is and how much they um what size do they sell it in. So I'm gonna go over there. Hopefully it's not a billion dollars. All right, are you still there? I'm here. All right, so if I look at the correct one, I believe it is $14.99. Okay, and it says emulsifying wax, right? Yes, correct. Okay, thank you. Of course, you have a lovely day today. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. You see how he said it says $14.99? Please let it not be a one-ounce bag. This <laughs> is... Oh, Lordy, let's just head on over. You said it says $14.99, right? Yeah, but I specifically also, I, I specifically asked the price and the size. Please let, not, let this not be one ounce for $14.99 because I need 22 ounces. Pray for me, I'm going. Because I have no choice. I must... I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call him on the way. Yeah, I'm gonna call him on the way because it's closer. Okay. Grasshopper, just, 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 just don't just, just leave it. Kai, you're, you're done. Total up already. Don't just, just, just leave it where it's at. Leave it where it's at. Cause if it's three hundred and eight dollars, that batch gonna go in the garbage. I would never. <laughs> you hear me? I would and will never. <laughs> I, 
Let me call Hobby Lobby like Kat said. Because that batch will go straight in the trash. Don't give up. Not for that. My ox boss mind the size. Y'all heard me ask? Y'all heard me on the line, right? Okay. Because I know $15 can mean a lot. It can be a lot. So let's check Hobby Lobby on the way. There. No, no, emulsifying wax. Oh, uh, yes. It's, it's, say that again. Yes, tell, me, tell me more about it. Okay, emulsifying wax. It would be like where all of the waxes are for candles and lotion making and stuff. Yes, we do. Okay, are you, yes. are you able to send someone to find out the size that you sell it in and the price? I need a, I need about 22 ounces, but I, I don't know if that's the size that they carry. Yeah, give me just one second and I will transfer you to the right department, okay? Thank you. You're can't get it at Walmart right away. They don't have enough craft stuff for them to sell it that way. Thank you. We were just talking about this this morning, you guys, where some things you just be like, you're trying to scale up, you're trying to scale up, you're trying to scale up. And sometimes scaling up is not easy. Because when you're doing it like a formulation, you don't buy large batches in the formulation stage. It's once you formulate, but remember, some of the items you had to buy it in large batch to even be able to do it. So now when you like a one ingredient short, it's like, bruh, like, I bet you I get to Hobby Lobby before she answers. <laughs> you just gotta laugh. I haven't even eaten. I'm just drinking this lemonade. It's all sour. I don't even care. I want you guys to guess what I'm searching for. Anybody can guess what I'm searching for? In this dirty bag of what I have? And can never find nothing? Anybody who can guess what I'm searching for? Who can guess what I was searching for in my bag? Aha, Miss A, you see it there? Miss A, you know me. Lip gloss, grasshopper, rose. Y'all know me. Mm hmm you said it right. Y'all know me, y'all know me real well. Lip gloss, it makes my day better.
I don't really eat gum anymore. Yep, I was searching for my my lip gloss to mix my day better. Cause if if my day don't go good, I'm just gonna cry. So I'm just trying to just keep my head straight. My car needs an oil change. I'm 1,200 miles over. I just I drive down the car. All kind of thing I got through my head today. My God is good. Still waiting on this woman. I might as well just hang up. <laughs> y'all gonna be? I wish y'all could really be in my head and how my head be going. Like, bam! I'm still on hold. I'm about to be at the store. I can't wait no longer. Mm -mm. Call Hobby Lobby a popka. I don't see a Hobby Lobby in your contacts. Who would you like to call? Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Sorry, there was a problem with the app. Cause you're stupid. <laughs> she gets on my nerves. Oh, yes, Daddy. Alex did her swim meet yesterday. Alex came in first place in the backstroke. You see me a call again? Watch, watch the same lady answer the call again. Hi, I was on hold for someone in the department for the wax. Did nobody answer yet? No. Okay, Um, I wanted to find out if you guys carry emulsifying wax. Emulsifying wax? Yes. Um, would this be over in the hobby department? It's like for lotion making, that kind of stuff. Lotion making? Yeah. Lip gloss. Okay, sorry, like, okay. It would be like the, okay. the to make lip glosses and lotions like over in that area. Okay, and say it one more time just so I know what I'm looking for exactly. Emulsifying wax. Okay, when you go, can you also tell me what size it is and the price? Just so you, I don't have to keep sending you back and forth. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Okay. Somebody yes. Okay, I'll I feel like I'm sending Alex to go look for something. But when you send Alex then to go look for something? Yeah, I don't, I don't really see that. I'm just gonna go through the car wash. My impulse is saying to go through the car wash. Relax your mind, Crystal. That's what my impulse is telling me, so I'm just gonna just ride my car through the car wash because it looked like hell anyway, so. It's the only time I'm gonna come this way. Gives her time to check the Hobby Lobby because it's at the corner. I don't wanna pass it if I don't have to. So let's just go through the car wash together. Yep, we're just gonna go through the car wash. Give her time to check because I'm thinking that maybe they have it. Wash my little dirty car. You can't drive luxury car and your car look like. So let me just drive to the little car washer. sound of the water is not good it just makes me feel like I have to go pee but it's fine <laughs> it 
water, the sound of water does not relax me. It just makes me know I need to use the bathroom. But I have a question. If I want to cancel the membership, how do I do that? So after you wash, you could just head into the office, which is facing us right now. Okay. There's always someone in there to help you. I can call and cancel it too, right? Yeah, you can okay. call, and I believe there's a way to do it online. I'm just not sure how. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Would normally be on before everybody else. That's surprising. You're gonna hear a beeping noise, you guys, so nothing I can do about the beeping noise. My car hates the car wash. Oh, looks like I'm gonna be going inside the store myself. Thank you. Just catch me. Let me just reel in my thoughts. Now, <clears throat> now you guys have been on the live with me, got on the phone call with me. question to her was do you carry emulsifying wax I immediately knew that she did not know what that was because the way she sounded and the way she asked the question 
would that be over in crafts sweetheart i i don't work in hobby lobby so i don't know what you what, what what i don't know what that would be categorized as but i did not say that because junie says that i have a tendency to be an asshole that's my <laughs> that's my first line of defense that's my defense mechanism right there to be an asshole because you, you, you asked me a stupid question but okay I then said, well, it would be in the area where you'd find like lip balm, lotion. I said lotion first. But when I said lotion, I could hear the mm, behind the phone. So I said, okay, well, it would also, it could be used to make lip balm or, and, and stuff. Candles. Okay, pack. Pack. Come on. All right. I expected her to come back and say, I don't see emulsifying wax, but I do see beeswax. She bypassed that in its entirety. <laughs> My girl got another lip, lip balm beer. So I don't see emulsifying wax, but we do carry lip balm base. Did I ask you for lip balm base? Did I say anything about lip balm base? All I said was it would be used to make base. Sweetheart, you could have even told me that you had beeswax. I did not expect the word lip balm base. I didn't tell you I was making lip balm. I just said it would be. My dad said count from zero to ten. Miss Amasa, that not gonna work. I'm already through the roof today. But I still am gonna be polite. And just say okay thank you because my alex adriana mom kicked in just now and i just wanted to look at it like i could look at my kids like did you even look like did you even check like like did, did you really did you really like did you actually look at the waxes or you you were looking for lip balm base because i think that's what you went to find oh my gosh <laughs> I love my life, you guys. Like, no lie. And then this lemonade is real lemon. They just put number lemon in lemonade. They put no sugar. They put lemons. That is the tangiest lemonade ever. But I'm so thirsty. I'm just drinking it. Do y'all know I have a headache? I do. I have a headache today. It's been one of those days. But I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this batch. It's 1.30 and I haven't even melted the butters yet. I still have to let the batch cool down. I still have children to go pick up from school. And then the lady in front of me decides that she wants to drive like this. Okay. So we're on our way to Joanne's. We're almost there. I just pray that this is gonna be a one pound bag of emulsifying wax for $15. And not a two ounce bag of emulsifying wax for $15. Now had I lived in Illinois, Chicago to be exact, most of the cosmetic wholesalers are based there. I could have driven up the street. No, my father and mother. I'm so glad my dad's out here. My father and mother wanted to move us to Florida. Where there's hurricanes and weird people. Okay. I could have stayed in Chicago. I'd be right by the cosmetics people. Would never run out of an ingredient. Probably would even get some on the low. Get a man to even teeth. Look a bit down. Come sell it to me on the low. 
Nope, not Michelle and Howard. No, we need to go to Florida, where we have nothing but weird people and hurricanes. I'm just messing around, y'all. Oh, I just gotta make it, you guys just put laughter in it, or you're gonna cry, so you might as well just put some laughter in here, it's fine. All right, so we're pulling into the Joanne Fabric. I find it fairly odd that Joanne's would sell emulsifying wax and Hobby Lobby wouldn't sell emulsifying wax, but you're a hobby store. Joanne's is a fabric store that dibbles and dabbles in crafts. But to each his own, you know? It's just, yeah, to each his own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> My dad said, <laughs> Dad, you are horrible. My dad said, your mom led. <laughs> I just followed. <laughs> you are horrible, Dad. All right. So we reach here. Zip up my little get a bag. We're going on a trip inside of this craft store, and I hope they have my. <laughs> Watch this lady. I move around to treat them. Didn't I tell y'all Orlando is full of weird -ass people? Why this lady was just wrestling with a branch? What the, the branch got to do with you? We're in the parking lot. You didn't even park there. Why are you over there wrestling with trees? Let me just let her go on the store first. All right, into Joanne's we go. And I'm gonna go find this emulsifying wax. And if they don't have it, I'm gonna find the cashier that told me you did. And I'm gonna tell you about yours. Um, no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, you guys. Just my crazy side kicking in. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, it doesn't look weird. You're friggin'. Wow. I'm just gonna go up here. That's some really nice stuff. Okay. I'm just gonna go on down the aisle. Mm hmm. They got rip dye. Okay, and the soap. I see paraffin wax. I see more paraffin wax. I see granulated wax. I see more paraffin wax. It's one heap of paraffin wax. Yeah, I'm in the wrong section. I'm just gonna keep walking. We all we we moving. I see socks. One heap of paraffin wax, paraffin wax blend, colored wax. Okay, let's see here. Coconut wax. See natural beeswax. Mm hmm. See soap, clay base. Okay, BS. Soy wax, soy wax. That's more soy wax. A lot of soy wax. I'm seeing a lot of that. Soap making. Candles. 
candle accessories. That's what I'm looking for. It's not looking good right now, sister. Can't even tell you a lie. I'm just trying to remain calm. I heard him say $14.99, but this isn't the wax that I'm talking about. This, this don't say emulsifying on it. You know, it say big ass paraffin wax on the damn thing. Let me just ask a man. Excuse me. I called a little while ago about emulsifying wax, and the gentleman said that it was a, I think it was a gentleman that answered and said that you guys have that, but I don't know where I would find it. Emulsifying wax for like lotion making. So I went down the soap aisle. He said that you guys have it. He went and checked and told me a price and everything. Maybe Tyler. I don't. I don't know if that's his name. Okay. Yeah, it was a guy that answered the phone. Well, it was a gentleman that answered the phone. I called about it. Oh, yeah, that was like not even 30 minutes ago. Like making lotion, that kind of thing. He actually went and he said he found it for fourteen ninety nine. No. Yeah, I saw the beeswax and then the paraffin wax, but I didn't see that one. Okay. Because when I search it, it doesn't come up online at I saw that too. Okay. Yeah, and when I went down that aisle, I didn't see anything priced at that.
This is the only aisle that I don't When I looked at all of these and I didn't see anything for fourteen nine, I don't know where. Yeah, so I don't see anything that's exactly fourteen ninety nine. But this one is the one I don't know. And he's kind of new, so I wonder. If he... Even I think you are active in store shop. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna walk out and not. It's just gonna walk out. Yeah, soil wax is for candles. Da 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 da. I checked Michael's. I don't have it. I've checked all the stores except for Homegirl, who had the apothecary store. She's like, I'm gonna ask my husband and then give you a call like right back. And that was like an hour ago. <laughs> so I'm gonna call my sister. Let's see what she said. Can't really. My head is hurting. Hi, good afternoon. I was speaking with um, someone this, well, just a little while ago, maybe an hour ago, in regards to getting some emulsifying wax. And she said she'd give me a call back, but I didn't. Emulsifying wax. Oh, yeah, I think she said that she was going to call you to see if you can, um, I guess, check something or something. I don't remember. Um, she does. I was headed that way. I didn't know if, he, if she was if she was hiding or not. Okay. Sure. It's it's yeah. That's fine. She has my number. She said she would call you and find out. So I'm not sure. Thank you. I found some results too, but none of the results were actually here. <laughs> none of the results actually helped. just head over to this place. I ain't got time. And it's still an 18 minute drive. You guys are just going on a whole journey with me today, aren't you?
trying to think like if I don't mix both of these today I still have to melt all of that oil and it still has to cool let me call cat I forgot let me call cat tell her to turn the heat off on that thing so that my surfactants doesn't burn Cat. Yeah. Can you turn off the burner with the with okay. the two things in it? Just turn it off. You can leave it leave it sitting there, but just turn off the, the, the heat. Turn on. Okay. Just plug it out. Just plug okay. It out. Okay. All right. Not a problem. Thank you. That's fine. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. It's at Walmart, but not actually in the Walmart. It's on Walmart. Right. But you can be, a, it's like Walmart is now like Amazon where you can sell, like you can actually sell through Walmart, but you are shipping it yourself. So it's not like something that I can go into the Walmart and pick it up with my two hands. It's actually, that's very rare. My only thought right now is that I'm going to have to go back and break down my surfactant formula. But it's too late because I already put all the glycerin and everything in this. So I can't really break it back down because I already combined everything. But that's just the water phase. So I'm assuming that it can sit. It can sit. Um, but then I got to work tomorrow, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I work tomorrow, so it's not like I can actually make it tomorrow. Matter of fact, what we are going to do is I'm going to have Cap melt down the other stuff right now. Are you still doing orders? You got a lot to do? All right. Like how many more? Okay, I need you to do me a favor, like, so you can stop for one second what you're doing. Go back to the, to the production area and you're gonna see the recipe in front of you um, for the scrub. That's the, that's the recipe that should be on top. Yeah, the book should be open though. Oh, I closed it. Okay. You should see one that says body scrub and it's handwritten. Did I leave my earpods? It's a big white piece of paper. No. Yeah, yeah, the front side of that. I handwritten that. Yeah, I need the handwritten side. That's the side that we're going to use. good because I don't have a stoplight. Hold on. No, that's it. There's another page that looks like that, but it's it's the long way. Okay, okay, found it. All right. Take it. Okay. Okay, say, I want to say it's folding scrub. Though. Yeah, that one. Okay. And it's Sunday. Okay. All right. So you see the second part that says heated? Yeah. All right. Look inside the book. You're going to see 
um, another page it says the blueberry on it but it has some orange writing at the bottom All right, okay. so you see the orange part at the bottom? Yes. Okay, yes. and on the farther over, you see some black handwriting in the boxes? Yes. Yes. Okay, and you see where it says the ounces in large amounts, right? Ounces. You see, yes. like it says 36 and all that stuff? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, you're going to measure out the heated phase. So you see the heated phase on the first page that you looked at? On the point, the yeah, one, yeah. the one with all the writing. I told you to pull that one out first. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. That's the heated phase. I just wrote it. I wrote the actual amount on the other page. It's just hard for you okay. to read the scribble scrabble. That's why I'm telling you to use this one. Oh, okay. So okay, you gotcha. see those four ingredients? That's right yep. down there. I'm having yeah. to measure out those four ingredients using the page that's on the blue, the measurements that's on the blueberry page in the ounces all the way over. Send me a picture. Okay. Send me a picture of the other one. I'm gonna screenshot it and just make sure you're looking at the right numbers. Yeah. Gonna and then you're gonna right measure now. out those four. The only one that you don't have enough to measure out is the one that says emu wax. That's emu. that's yeah. That's what's in that little bowl in front of you. Those white pellets that's in that little bowl. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're still gonna use that. I'm just gonna have to find an alternative to the remainder. So I'm gonna try to figure that part out. Okay, okay. Now, on the heat of phase, mm -hmm. um, and the one that says... Uh, I, I know. Right. So, you're going to use the turmeric oil. You'll use the turmeric oil for that. That's all you're changing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, you said... You said on all three pages, it's still the same measurement, but you're gonna use turmeric oil. That doesn't matter. You're overthinking it. Don't, I'm just telling you to look at that page so you can understand the writing, because I wrote gibberish on the other page. I understand the gibberish, you don't. Right? So you'll have the turmeric oil, the emu wax, the stearic acid, and the mango butter. Okay, did you send me a picture of the blueberry page? Okay, hold on, I gotta wait. I gotta wait to get this off right. So I'm gonna screenshot and circle the part that tells you the ounces that you need to weigh it out in, or you can even put it in pounds because it's kind of, it might be a little bit more than you can do in ounces. You did? No, you would have just, uh, I was just asking you to send it just now. Okay. Well, I only need that area, that little area down there. I don't need the whole page. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll wait till I get to a, a stopping point. Let me stop in here. I'm coming. Wait a second. All right, hold on. Okay, I just sent you back a picture of the area that you're gonna measure out. But you're gonna measure them out and then put them all together in the tall, that tall silver um, stainless steel one that we have, that we just got. Okay, so turn on the water, turn on the, turn on the, the one burner that has that single pot on it. Turn that, yeah, turn it on so that that can heat up in the meantime of you measuring because it needs to be hot. So go ahead and turn that on first. I already plugged it in. I think you just got to turn it on. 
and then turn it to number seven so it's all the way up and while you're measuring so then you're gonna measure the emu wax that one is you might have to you have to weigh that again because I, I need to know exactly how much that is so weigh that again by and weigh out everything like you'll do the shea butter and you're gonna use that the tall silver canister that's sitting there because it can go inside the water bath remember what I showed you today okay you're gonna use that to melt everything down so go ahead and put the mango butter the stearic acid and the um, turmeric oil and put them into that canister so that they can melt down Well, you don't, have, you don't have to stay on the line. I just wanted you to be able to, to, to know what to measure out. So I screenshot the picture back of the ounces for each one, except for the emu wax. You don't have to do that one. I'll do that when I get back. So just do the other three and then put them, and then put them in the double boiler to boil or to, to boil down. And then it should be going by the time I get there. All right. All right, bye. Somebody do me a favor, my handy dandy people. When someone Google, and on Google you're gonna search alternative to emulsifying wax, in as in Nancy F. So alternative to emulsifying wax, in F. We need an alternative, you know what? Alternative to emulsifying wax, in F. I just didn't wanna type it. Let's see if Siri has common sense. Nope, guess what Use she the did? Left lane to make she decided sense. to play and dance monkey. <laughs> I can't make this up. Like, I promise, I cannot make this At up. The light. She said, Use I'm gonna play dance to monkey. <laughs> I ain't say nothing about dance monkey. <laughs> oh my gosh, I specifically said alternative to emulsifying wax in F. Why? Why did this woman go and play dance monkey? <laughs> I don't know where she comes from with this. I'm just like, what? And when I'm not talking to her and I don't want her to hear my business, you can say, what was that? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Polo wax. Polo wax near me. We ain't gonna find out. Here's what I found. You're not gonna find polo wax. A part of me wants to go to Hobby Lobby anyway. Polo wax is even more complicated to find than emulsifying wax. Something else. Does it give you another one? I'm still gonna stop at this Hobby Lobby on purpose just to ease my mind because. Well, I'm in an oil. Is beeswax is an alternative, but beeswax is not really an emulsifier. Beeswax is not really, I have beeswax. I have a ton of beeswax. I have a ton. I'm not short of beeswax, but that's not technically an emulsifier. Beeswax is good for hardening things, like it makes things hard. Any other wax. You guys are my, my mini minion lab partners. Any other wax is coming up. Anyone? Don't all run in at once. Wait till I get to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Lord, you know my you know my heart, boy. Subtle alcohol, that's not wax. I don't know if I want to mix those two together. I don't know how to mix settle alcohol with anything else. I have settle alcohol. Saying beeswax and borax. Borax? Really? Oh gosh. Seriously? That's odd. I'm scared. That gonna mess up my recipe. All right, I'm at a little stopping point now.
Mm, yeah, I knew I wasn't going to find no pole wax here. I'm just going to go into the Hobby Lobby. Worst case, I guess I'll have to try that beeswax. But, boy, I know what beeswax can do. Run with beeswax the wrong way. Does the supplier have to be a... I'm sitting in the Hobby Lobby parking lot right now. What are the best natural emulsifiers? Beeswax is extremely beneficial. Okay, we know, we know that. What can I use instead of it? We find beeswax to work as a natural emulsifier and is more natural and unprocessed alternatives to self-emulsifying waxes, which can be used to create really delicate creams, lotions, and that absorb. Wow, Lynn, you were reading the same thing that I was just reading. All right, we're at Hobby Lobby. If I cannot get the emulsifying wax, I have some emulsifying wax. So then I'm going to use the beeswax. But I'm gonna go look first. Can't say I was defeated. Let me look first. If I cannot get emulsifying wax, then I will use a portion of beeswax and a portion of emulsifying wax. And we're gonna have to, because really all the emulsifying wax is doing is making it more firm in texture. So the amount of beeswax that I'm going to add, it's not going to kill the recipe. Excuse me. It's, it's not going to kill the recipe, but or I'm going to use the right word. It's not going to kill the formula, but you don't, I don't like to play with things. Glycerol stearate citrate. I don't have any of that. <laughs> I don't have any of that. So everything that you guys are, are giving me are very good alternatives. Here's the only problem. The gag is I have to finish this today because I have already mixed my batch which that's kind of my fault too another reason why I'm telling you guys and I show you guys wholeheartedly and transparency because these are the things that happen who can tell me what mistake I made what was the number one mistake I made today there was one big big mistake that I made and what was that What was the big mistake that I made today? Thank you, Grasshopper. I did not do an audit to ensure that I had everything I needed. Is this the wax? It is. I didn't check. So before you start doing anything, you should measure out your ingredients to make sure you have everything that you need. So they have soy wax, they have beeswax, they have paraffin wax, none of which I can use. I have beeswax, so I'm not short of beeswax. I got that. So you guys take this learning experience from me. I'm here to make your jobs easier. Perfume wax, beeswax, beeswax. Candle making wax. Molting wax, coconut wax. They have every wax but emulsifying wax. So welcome to them. Absolutely. So you guys are all right. And that was my mistake, which won't be your mistake, but that was my mistake. They have all these oils. They have all these bases. Where do they have the emulsifying Yeah, I'm here. They have shea butter. They have olive oil. They have palm wax. And they have every kind of wax. But the wax women want. 
You got every other wax. You got palm wax. You got beeswax. You got all that. You got all of that. So tell me, where's the emulsifying wax? They have every wax you can think of but that one wax. And I don't know where this girl got lip balm base from because we, we're not even in the same section. Oh, Nubian, thank you for even checking, girl. But I needed it, like, I need it now. But we about to go play around with this beeswax. The good thing is that I have some in my wax. I just don't have enough. I'm over here, and I don't even see where this girl found lip gloss. <laughs> That's how I know she was not in the right section. They don't even have a lip gloss. There's not even a lip gloss base in this section. Mm-hmm. I'm just checking to make sure I'm not crazy. That's all. I'm trying to go through the waxes again. even though all of these waxes are for candles. That's why they have so much. That's soap. All right, we're done. We're just gonna head back to the office now. If this batch doesn't come out right, it just don't come out right, and I'll just have to start again. And that's my fault, but it is what it is. Can't do nothing about that. Yeah, I don't even know how she got all the way over here. I'm just checking other little places because you never know. You know, some people might put things in the wrong place. No. There is nothing. So we're just gonna go ahead and skedaddle and we're just gonna go formulate out the place. Polyglycerol, so we don't have that. All right, let's see. Can you use beeswax in place of, excuse me, excuse me, emulsifying wax? See, it says no. An emulsif emulsifying wax can only be replaced with an emulsifier. Beeswax is in no way an emulsifier. One can add borax to beeswax to make an emulsion, but there will only be a one-to-one -one ratio of water to oils, making a greasy lotion. Let's see what it says, what happens. So I'm, I'm going to watch this video that says what happens when you use beeswax hey, bees, instead of emulsifying Amy, wax. And today we're going to be looking at sort of the what happens if for one of the questions that I get asked the most often, which is, you know, I don't like the sounds of or I don't happen to have an emulsifying wax, so can I use beeswax instead? And it's sort of easy to see how you can get there if you have never made a lotion before or worked with emulsifying wax, because they both have wax in the name, right? Unfortunately, that is where the similarities stop, sort of like an egg yolk and a pylon. They are both orange, and that is all they have in common, and unfortunately, that one similarity doesn't mean that you could really use them for one another. She's terrible. scaring me. And that construction zone would look sort of like the Humpty Dumpty murder scene. So in the interest of making this as sort of science experimenty as possible, I'm going to be using the lotion recipe that I use in my basic how to make a lotion video. Um, girl, don't don't get me copyrighted. What are you doing?
Listen, y'all. Hey, Barbara. Girl, I was trying to watch this girl's video, and then here comes my phone playing Dance Monkey. They're calling me a monkey, basically. Well, for what I'm doing, it's not going to work. The emulsion is to basically emulsify oil and water. And if I don't have... Yeah. Before I move, I'm, I'm Googling. So I'm gonna have to keep looking. Comparing emulsifiers, water loving head group, and oil loving tail. Okay. Support emulsifiers, simplicity, five emulsifiers. So, emulsifying NF, wax NF, is still alcohol and sorbate 60. I don't have, do I have polysorbate 60? I think I only have 20. No, 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 it's enough for this. Can be used in formulas with a pH as low as three. Recommended use rate is two to 25%. Usually three to 5% for lotions and five to 10% for creams. Read I don't have any read emulse at CGA. I don't think I ordered any yet. Glycerol stearate, alcohol. BTMS 50 I have. It's a conditioning agent and can I most of my skin in here. Recommended usage rate is 1 to 10. You always have 5% as an emulsifier, which is true. The recipe is 5%. I mean, I have BTMS 50. All right, so emulsifying wax versus BTMS 50. I would say their viscosities were very similar. They both massaged into the skin. First thing I noticed after both of these moisturizers was rubbed into the skin, the emulsifying wax felt softer and had less of a drag, while BTMS 50 felt soft too, but not, as, not quite as soft as not quite as soft compared to emulsifying wax. I also noticed the BTMS 50 had more of a drag, but only slightly. So emulsifying wax won this time. Okay, I got it. We're going to use the BTMS 50. A ton of that. We got an answer. 
We are going to use BTMS 50 as our emulsifier. So I'm gonna have Kat weigh out some BTMS 50, which I already had that. Let me see. Steric acid, must relax. Oh, we only did it at 3% actually. 36, okay. Got it. We got it. It's an emulsifier. The steric acid is gonna be big Hello? Hey. Yeah. You finished weighing everything out? Yeah, I put them in there, but uh, I can't you, find the you turmeric are oil. Super loyal. The what? The turmeric oil. I can't find the turmeric oil. It's in the big white bucket that you put in the middle of the floor by the back. It's a white pink bucket. White pink bucket? Cat. White paint bucket. It's oh, like. That's a little bit. That, you think that's enough? Well, you gotta weigh it out. I don't know. That don't look like a 36 ounce but I don't know. Might be, might be, might be wrong. Might be. Uh, 36 ounces is not much. That's uh, only, I'll put you on. Okay. That's like two pounds. Okay. So well, it, that wouldn't well, even be a gallon. It's not even near a gallon. You didn't put it in the ones that are in the white, the white stuff, right? You didn't pour nothing in that, right? The you didn't put anything in the in the containers that I have the covers on, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so really? Are you serious? Okay, um, okay, that's fine. All right, so there's a the, some white pellets to the left. It's called BTMS50, but it has a very long name. And then in small letters under it, it says BTMS50 on the table to the left of you. It's almost like staring at you. I think it's in the front. You see that one? Yeah. Can you weigh out, weigh out 36 ounces of that? And you're going to put that into this batch. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be the replacement for the emulsifying wax. You didn't pour the emulsifying wax in there, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna use the BTMS 50 instead of the emulsifying wax. All right. I'll be there in a few. All right. Bye. Y'all wanna hear a joke? You don't wanna hear a joke? Now the problem is not the BTMS 50. Guess what the problem is now? The steric acid. I just don't know. I just don't know. Like, I just don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I 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 just can't make this shit up. Like, I, I just had to let out a curse. Because <laughs> I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know.
<laughs> oh my gosh. I'm headed back to the office anyway. I'm not worried about it. We have to find an alternative. He is alive. We're going to figure it out. It might be even better formula doing it this way. You never know. You didn't, did you mix the stearic acid in already? Yeah. You already put it into the mix? Just now. Oh, so it's already in, it's already in with the butter and the oil? Okay. That's fine. Did you, um, did you write down how much stearic acid you used? All right. Okay. <laughs> really, cat? Cat, why are you smelling it? It's a wax. This girl was like, ooh, this BTMS 50 smell like fish. I am done. I'll be there in like five minutes. <laughs> Bye, man. Oh my gosh. Cat, I don't know. I was like, whoo, this BTMS 50 smell like fish. <laughs> that was my laugh for the day. Mm. Why my poor Brianna? My poor Brianna. My poor brain. Now watch stearic acid actually be one of the things that I could have found in the store. <laughs> John Wall. Bit of door, bit of just bit just just take it with a great assault, yeah? Because if you don't you're really just like a lose your mind, so just take it with a grain of salt. Just take it with a grain of salt. That's all you can do. Mm. <sighs> Nubian, don't even bother tell me that Javi Labia. Actually, they didn't have it. I was just there. They didn't have steric acid. I was just there. I didn't see steric acid at all. And I was looking at everything that was on those shelves. No, there wasn't any stearic acid and not in the quantity that i needed it because i didn't see any in, in a larger batch so it's fine when you can't find something guess what you do an alternative it says on here that alternative to stearic acid is actually beeswax but I, I gotta make sure i gotta make sure just like how we just found out that btms 50 is a good a good alternative so I'm going to go and Google it just like we doing. Like, this is what you do, you guys. Like, this is exactly what we do. Like, when you can't figure something out, when you are missing something, there will be times where you need stuff. But please take my foolish advice. Make sure you have all your ingredients in the quantity that you need them. Because here's the problem. I know that I had the ingredients. But I didn't pay attention to the fact that the batch that I'm making is much larger than what I would have normally made. So now I have to do it this way anyway <laughs> because I have no choice. I have no choice. It is what it is. It really is what it is. It is what it is, you guys. You make me, make me, make me wanna cry. Guess what? If you went to make that soup and you couldn't find no chicken or beef, I guess I go fetch the vegetable stock. You better go find two chicken bone or some boulon cube. Put that baby in there. You got a veggie soup today. We gonna figure it out though. I'm not worried about that like that. Let's see. Alternative to stearic acid. Why don't you come tell me? Sorry, that? I can't show the result to you while you're in the car. Cause you're stupid. Alternative to stearic acid.
It says that you can use subtle alcohol as an alternative, which I have, but had I already put stearic acid in there, if I'm going to replace it, I would need to replace it with the whole thing. I don't like to mix them. These are the two things. Everything else we have. We're not worried about everything else. We have everything else. That's the good thing. We do have everything else. I won't make this mistake again, though. Look at that. I will not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well dry. Well dry. Less than. No, I don't have any less than. I don't have any less than. I need another alternative to steric acid. I don't have any less than. And yes, less than is a combiner. So that definitely is the truth. But I don't have any. All right, we're back. We just spent an hour. All right, we are back. Unfortunately, UX is not a natural product. Organic beeswax offers an all-natural substitute. See, organic beeswax offers an all-natural substitute to steric acid. 